You're only helping me with minor things? It's the honorable Lotus Assassins, you see. They feel that those of us dedicated to the Imperial Army are nothing more than louts to be ordered about. Any member of the Army, even City Guard, is expected to defer any major disturbances to them. Makes me about as useful as a lamppost. Um... Can you tell me anything other than directions? I'm afraid not. I'm on duty, and it's imperative that I remain focused on what few tasks I'm still deemed capable of performing. A fellow guard once paused for idle chit-chat with a woman. She went to the Lotus Assassins with the story of his inattentiveness. Next thing you know, he's arrested for threatening the security of the Empire with his lax ways. I don't know what happened to him, but I don't want to share his fate. Yeah, I don't want you to share his fate either. Um, what can you tell me about this area of the city? This area is known as the Market District. Predictably, plenty of merchants set up their shops around here, and it's usually bustling. On the north side of the district is the Imperial Arena. The heart of the Empire Tavern in the upper level is a nice place to relax. What else? Oh, yes. There's the Black Leopard School up on the hill on the south side. Lots of skilled warriors get their start there. I need help finding my way. What did? Uh, I'm looking for the Scholar's Garden. The garden is just off the Golden Way, so you need to head there first. One of the guards in there can take you the rest of the way if you need. Oh, okay. The Golden Way is through a gate in the southeast corner of this district. Just up a broad flight of steps that lead up from a courtyard. Okay, goodbye. Be about your business. So it's not there, so I won't go there yet. Ooh, Lena. An, an Talk actual to Junda if you'd like to buy some buns. Ooh, buns. Excuse me, out of my way. I gotta get these buns to the scholar's garden. Quick, quick, now move. What happened to her voice? What happened to all their voices? Shush now. There we go. You offend the gods of decency. This poor traveler's likely to think that the Imperial City is full of indecent folk and offensive talk. Now then, after all the trouble we've caused you, is there anything we can help you with? We've got fresh buns. Just made them myself. Um, do you mind if I ask you two some questions? Ugh, talk, talk, talk. That's all people want to do. I don't get paid to talk. I sell buns. That's what I do. Should have had what's his name with no me. Who? No time to talk, he says. The only time you're ever quiet is when you're eating one of my buns. Now be polite and ask Whoa. questions. Whoa, TMI. TMI. I should be going. Well, then. Don't. Mind. I don't really want to talk to you. That was a very disturbing com uh, comment right there. I don't think I ever want to hear you mention that again. Ooh, a gem of foresight. What's that? Evading traps, mind. Eh, yeah, still not useful right now. Three. It's hardly worth it. Let's go one more up here, and then we'll go down to the Golden Way. This is to the Imperial Arena. Yeah, I thought so. What's this? Uh oh, where am I going now? Whoa, configuration of the dragon. Sweet. Configuration guided by the tiger burn bright as the cauldron bubbles in the night. The cogs whirl when, when water infused with sulfur. So if I go to this guy. Ah, excellent. I have many items just waiting for you. He doesn't have the sulfur yet. I gotta wait till he restocks or something. Oh, but good thing to go there. Okay, let's break this for a couple pennies. Oh, that was a lot more. Anyways, let's go up to the golden... Because the arena has some side quests, but I want to really get at least the main quest going a little bit. Scourge associates with nefarious... 
these fox spirits, aiding them in their occupation of our once pristine forests in the south. Oop, dodged it. Okay. Anything else here? Oh, yep. Guide to the Imperial City. Welcome, dear traveler, to the illustrious Imperial City, the heart of civilization and the world and seat of power for the Jade Empire. In this fine city, the wonders of the modern age are plain for all to see. Walk down the expansive boulevard, shop at the many fine booths and stores, and see how the most advanced and civilized people in the world live. You will be awed and amazed by the sights of the city. Explore the Imperial City for the experience of a lifetime. Alright. Let's head up here. Oh, it looks like... Ministry to the Necropolis, to the Market District, to the Scholar's Garden. Alright. Commoner. Oh, there's a Necropolis up there. Hold on there. This way leads into the Necropolis, a dangerous area. You shouldn't go in there unless you have some business there. Um, what's wrong with the Necropolis? Ghosts have been rising up everywhere in the Empire, I've heard. So many have come up in the Necropolis that it just isn't safe anymore. It would take an army of us to clear them out. If we could do it at all, we can't even safely post a guard in there. We just warn people away. The Lotus Assassins want everyone kept away as well. First time I've heard of them being altruistic. Eh, they have another motive. When did this all start? Things have been bad over the past few, um, say five years. <laughs> no one has any idea why so many of the dead refuse to return to the Wheel of Life peacefully. All we know for sure is that they're not happy. Not happy at all. Thanks for the warning. If you're still going in there, just watch your back. I don't really want to go in there. I just wanted to talk to you for a little bit. Ooh, just walked right through you. Oh, another one. Oh, another one. Beggar song. I greet you, sir. I wonder if you might have some silver to spare. But you are, your clothes are expensive and you speak like a noble. I come from a very wealthy family. As such, I have a certain lifestyle to maintain. Parties, female admirers, lots of wine. You understand. You gotta be kidding me. Not even a little bit. I have to have an income, don't I? My father looked at my considerable expenses and told me to get my own silver. So you turned to begging? Of course. I am a noble. The shame of manual labor or the stink of trade must not be allowed to touch me, or even waft its way close to me. You gotta be kidding me. But there's no shame in begging? How could there be shame? You've got it and I want it. Should I steal it? Never. Simply ask like a civilized soul, I say. Wow. What a load of refuse. I read all the greatest philosophers and consulted with wise men before reaching this decision. I assure you the philosophical underpinnings are quite sound. Wisdom is only gained by experience, wine, women, and song as it were. But a life of revel with no reflection still does not lead to true wisdom. One must ponder, one must daydream. Even if I could bear the shame of sullying my hands with work, when would I think? How could I grow wise? So you are begging in order to pay for a drunken debauchery, all in service of becoming truly wise. Well, it loses some of the subtlety when you put it that way, but yes. Uh, I think the pursuit of wisdom is noble. Here's a silver piece. I thank you. It's not easy for one such as I. I have it far more difficult than the impoverished beggars of this city. Farewell. Wow, you are an idiot. But that was such an elaborate thing. I had to give you a little bit something for that. Is there another beggar that actually needs my help? I could probably give him some coin. <clears throat> your parentage is below average, and your ancestry is of questionable worth. You dress yourself in the manner of a common laborer. Nobody's paying any attention. Keep trying, just as I instructed. Your physique seems exceptional. Clearly you are a peasant. A noble could afford sloth. 
What are you doing? Why attempt to insult me? Your breath is like the wind of an ox. Your last meal was of suspect quality. <laughs> I asked for an explanation. Justify yourself or I will take offense. Your beliefs are superficial and your culture is substandard. Heh. <laughs> 